What is up everybody, Ron Blue back again on another video for you guys. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of a classic guitar that I've had a few years ago. Um, they actually came out with the custom version of it. And as you can see with this box behind me, we're gonna just jump right into it and I'm gonna explain everything that you need to know about the new one that just came out as well as the one that I got and why I got this one. So let's just jump right into it. Let's jump right into it. I have a box here. So, um, you're going to have a picture of the original one that I had back in 2019 before COVID. Uh, it was a really, really solid guitar and I really liked it, but I traded that one in to get the CR6 and they were, they were cheaper in price. I believe it was like a hundred bucks. So a uh, hundred bucks cheaper. So, um, and I, and I was looking at the Aurora, no, Charcoal Burst. It was a Charcoal Burst uh, CR6. And the CR6 to this day is still one of my favorite Schecters. Um, the reason why I didn't go with the, the new custom, the reason why I didn't go with the new custom uh, Reaper 6 is because it looks it, it looks very standard and for the reapers i think that the hugest thing is that it's so eye-catching um so when they went to the custom look it, it looks more sleek it honestly can compare to the aerodyne fender strats um and i'll show you know a comparison of the two but it comes in the white and then it comes in the gloss black as well gloss white and gloss black so, I guess we'll take one here. So I didn't want to go that route. This at least at least this time, um, I always regretted kind of getting rid of the original one that I had. So, and it and it actually went up in price. I I believe I remember these things being once upon a time like six ninety nine. Um, they're seven ninety nine now. I'm assuming because of the inflation of, of everything. Um, but hopefully, these things drop down in price pretty soon, considering that they are pushing that custom, which is eleven eleven forty nine or ten forty nine or something like that. Now, oh, look at the headstock alone first. Look at that. That is fire. All right, so let's finish taking this thing out of the wrapping. This is really, really nice. Look at that there. Oof. Man, oh man. So you guys let me know in the comments uh, which one you like the most, if it's this one, this color, or the Aurora, or the purple burst that I had. Again, I'm gonna have like a picture over here so you guys can see that comparison of the two. But man, I love the thin neck of it. It is easy to just shred on this thing if you want, but what I really like is just the flatness of it too. It's very unique, but I think it really helped uh, with like a lot of the R&B gospel type chords that I would use, um, it's just a little bit more comfortable um, rather than using a Gibson. And there's nothing wrong with that because um, I love Gibsons as well. But this particular guitar is just for the for the price. I mean, you're really not gonna get anything that looks as good as this, as well as feels and plays as good. Um, so the neck is through here. Uh, the headstock is almost like the Jimi Hendrix signature. It's the opposite, uh, it's turned the other way. Whereas the Nick Johnston series is turned, uh, yeah, the, the, the opposite way. So, um, it's just, it's just, it just screams rebel. It just really does scream rebel. Um, and what I really like too, it's just so random too. It's really, really random, but the, um, uh, the wood, like you could really just see the wood and how it kind of cuts right into the actual body. 
just very, very unique. It's almost, it's a one, it's, it, it feels like a, probably, I'm not sure if it is a one piece. I don't think it is actually. No. I don't know. It, it just seems so solid. Like, like everything matches. Um, there's nothing that's out of place. It's just like you get what you're, you get what you're paying for. Um, you get actually more than what you're paying for with this particular guitar. And like I said, it's just this unique piece right here, that, that color, that bare natural color. And then it has like a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a curve to it as well for your arm. Um, and it's just, it's just a whole one piece, like without any, um, you know, uh, binding and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with binding. I think those are really good. Um, uh, and I believe actually speaking of binding, I think that's what the Reaper custom has is binding black binding on the uh, sides of the guitar, but it's just really smooth through and through, um, Man, we're going to plug this thing up, see how it plays, and uh, go from there. So there you have it. We have the Schechter Reaper 6 and the Skyburst color. Just a beautiful finish all around. Um, one thing I will say I have to get used to is the neck. Um, I haven't played this type of neck in three years. So it, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But like I said earlier in the video, it is something that once you get used to, um, especially for me, it's something I, I had... Uh, admired for a very long time especially when i got used to it back in 2019 so once i get used to it i'll definitely be doing a full-on review and and maybe i may do like a comparison to the actual Schecter reaper uh, custom uh versus this one and that one's gonna be very interesting so if you guys want that drop it in the comments i got you guys um this is the only channel where you're gonna be getting videos like this guitar lessons guitar covers and so much more until next time, peace. Make sure, for those of you all who are subscribed, I appreciate it. Hit that bell notification button so you won't miss any of my videos. And when I shout you guys out, because I do respond to these comments, um, and some of them I do respond in video, the best way for you guys to know that I responded is hit that bell notification button, guys. Until next time, peace.